when you first came here, there wasn't that much street art, not that much graffiti. People come to see the art, people come to see the grottiness. I moved here in 2008-9 because my business suffered from the credit crunch. I used to be based in Brick Lane. Came to Hackneywick, seemed a nice place, empty, quiet. It's always historically been like a blank canvas for artists and the creatives in the area. We had this drunken night thinking, oh, wouldn't it be great just to cover it all over again, start fresh. Now it's derelict and it's waiting for um, regeneration, some kind of makeover, I'm sure. So we try and commission um, this, like a piece on this building every year. So I just invited people from back in the day, like 2007-8, Mighty Mo, Gold Peg, Sweet Tooth, people that went through 2010, 12, Edwin, Pang, Donk, and Zombie Squeegee, the guys from Static being involved. The main aim is to cover it all in two days. I was in Camden before it changed, then Brick Lane before it changed. I've seen that. Um, what concerns me the most is this, the speed that is changing. Because we're in it, we don't realise how much it changes. statement to bring down all the warehouses and to get without all the creative artists in Hackneywick to increase rent by 30%. Do we want this? No! No! How Hackneywick is going to be? Do we want this? No! What are we going to do about it? Burn it! What else are we going to do? Save Vote! Let's see some bollocks! Come on! Let's see some fighting! I'm just scared of sanitisation, homogenisation, you know. And we're a very, very close community. I've loved being part of it. I have really loved being here. I've built my whole life here. So it's kind of sad. I think it's, 
it's a, a, a nod. It's just a nod of kind of doff my hat. You, you've been here, you've gone out of here, you've come back here. Because you know, people come back to the wig, they leave, they come back. There's something draws them in. Thank you.